Hi guys, thanks for joining me on Making with Marilyn. I've recently been using Inkscape to design my projects for Cricut Design Space, and I really like it. But I have run into the problem that when I save my documents and then I open them in Cricut Design Space, they're the wrong size. So I just have to remember how large I want it and rescale it in Cricut Design Space. Well, recently, one of the people that watched my video left a comment for me and told me how to fix this problem. So I truly appreciate that, and now I want to share that knowledge with you. When you open Inkscape, this is the default template that you see. To fix it so that any project you make in here is the right size for Cricut Design Space, let me show you what you do. Before I do that though, let me show you what the problem is in case you're not following what I'm saying. So I drew a rectangle. Let's make this a little larger. And then if I change the dimensions of that rectangle, let's go to inches. And I say I want it four inches tall by six inches wide. Then to get it into Cricut Design Space, I save it as an SVG. And this time we're just going to call this rectangle. And I'll save that to my desktop to upload. Then when I go to Cricut Design Space and I bring that in, let me show you what happens. When I insert it into my project, it comes in really small. So here's the fix. Let's just delete our first rectangle. I'm going to go to File, and then Document Properties. And there's three steps I need to take. In the Display Units, I'm going to change millimeter to inches. In the Custom Size, I'm going to use inches again. Now, I can change my custom size if I want to, but I don't have to. That doesn't limit my design. So for now, I'm just going to leave it there. Then the third step, after you change millimeter to inches here, millimeter to inches here, you're going to go in the scale X, and you're just going to change it to 72. And that's all there is to it. Let me go ahead and X out of this. And those settings will stay for my one project that I'm working on until I close Inkscape. So we'll go back to the square or rectangle tool. To change the size, you have to select it. So I'm going to have 6 inches wide by 4 inches tall. Now this time I'm going to save it as Rectangle Scaled. Then if I bring Cricut Design Space back up and I upload this one, remember we called it Rectangle Scaled. click on it to insert it into my project, and look, it came in perfectly. So I so much appreciate the person that let me know that little hack. Now these settings will stay for your one project. On my next video, I'm gonna show you how you can change these settings for good, and you don't have to do this time and time again. If you're just beginning in Inkscape, you may not feel comfortable doing that yet. I've tested it and it works. And if you ever want to go back to the old settings, there's an easy way to do that. So stay tuned for that next video if you want to learn how to change it for good, or at least until you decide otherwise. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or good suggestions like that viewer did, leave them in the comment section below. Until the next video, bye bye.